Well, it says we're live on Facebook. I think Zoom might still be trying to do its stuff, but we'll do a formal welcome. Morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, those on Zoom. We've already had a little chat, um, but it's lovely to see everybody on Zoom. Um, and those who may be looking on from Facebook Live, um, it's you know, good morning to you too. It's lovely to have you with us. Um, and likewise, anybody who may be looking on on YouTube as well. Uh, good morning to you. It's a lovely day out there. Um, we have our communion service. So if you've come with bread and wine, that's lovely. There's bread and wine here on our communion table. Shall we begin our service with a moment of silence and we will share some liturgy as well. So let's just for a moment keep silent. Wherever we are, however we are meeting, we meet in the name of God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, God is one. As we gather, we know that God knows us intimately and we reflect that in this prayer. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. We say sorry to God for those things we have knowingly done wrong. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbour as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been, help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we have our, our reading from the Bible which Sally is going to read to us. Reading is from Matthew chapter 15, beginning at verse 21. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him, crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is suffering terribly from demon possession. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, send her away, for she keeps crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to their dogs. Yes, Lord, she said but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered, woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Um, I don't know if you can hear a couple of dogs barking in the background. I hope they're not, you can't. But um, if you do, that's uh, the family dogs just going a bit mad, which is quite appropriate when that reading does mention dogs uh, 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 as well. Uh, there is a very short talk in relation to this on the YouTube channel, picking up on um, the Canaanite woman's determination and her absolute hunger and need to encounter Jesus. And there is a challenge in that reading, um, really for us, you know, are we that determined? Are we that determined to follow Jesus? 
Um, are we that hungry for him to meet our deepest needs? Um, if you want to uh, find out more about that, please do uh, um, look at the talk on the YouTube channel. So let us affirm what we believe. Wherever we are, let us proclaim together. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. For with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so let us pray together. As we reflect on that Bible reading, Father, we thank you for the example of the Canaanite woman, for her determination in following your son, Jesus. Father, please stir us to learn from her example, her zeal to follow you and to have that faith that Jesus can meet our deepest needs, whatever they may be. And as we reflect on that reading, we pray that for the whole wider church. So strengthen Martin, Will and Ruth, our bishops, and all your church in the service of Christ, that those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember and pray for the people of the root. There is nothing we can say in response at this moment, but we hold that city, that nation in prayer before you, Father. And we ask that you will have mercy and that your spirit will be at work in the lives of so many people who have their living has been torn away from them their houses have been destroyed. We pray for our politicians that they will continue to make good decisions that affect our physical life and the economic life of our nation. So bless and guide Elizabeth, our Queen. Give wisdom to all in authority and direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that we may honour one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those on holiday in Eastbourne, for those who are unable to get away, we pray that we may each in our own way find rest and recreation. We thank you for the beauty of our area, for the sea, for the downs. We pray that through this challenging time, we may find a newfound respect 
for creation. So give grace to us, our families and friends, and to all our neighbours, that we may serve Christ in one another and, li li and love as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the healing and wholeness of all who long to be well in body, mind and spirit. We pray for those affected directly by the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for those who have health conditions which they've been more challenged by because of this season. We pray for those in our health service for um, they'll have the energy to keep on going. We give thanks for scientific advances against this illness and we ask that you will continue to bless scientists as they continue to find vaccines and other therapeutics. So comfort, comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. And rejoicing in the fellowship of all your saints, we commend ourselves and the whole of creation to your unfading love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We may be apart from one another, but we can still very much share a sign of Christ's peace, which we can do uh, as we open up the Zoom channel in a moment. But let me just introduce this with a bit of liturgy. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, says the Lord, there I am in the midst of them. So the peace of the Lord be with you. And, and also, also just share a quick sign of peace with one another. Peace be with you, everyone. Peace be with you. Peace to those looking on, on Facebook Live. Very much peace be with you. And those who may be looking a bit later via um, YouTube as well. So we come to our time of communion together. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Almighty God, good Father to us all, your face is turned towards your will. In love, you gave us Jesus, your son, to rescue us from sin and death. Your word goes out to call us home to the city where angels sing your praise. We join with them in heaven's song, saying together, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Father of all, we give you thanks for every gift that comes from heaven. To the darkness, Jesus came as your light. With signs of faith and words of hope, he touched untouchables with love and washed the guilty clean. This is his story. This is our soul. Hosanna in the highest. The crowds came out to see your son, Yet at the end, they turned on him. On the night he was betrayed, he came to table with his friends to celebrate the freedom of your people. This is his story. This is our soul. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus blessed you, Father, for the food. He took bread, gave thanks, broke it and said, this is my body given for you all. Then Jesus gave thanks for the wine, 
took the cup, gave it and said, this is my blood shed for you all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. This is our story. This is our soul. Hosanna in the highest. Therefore, Father, with this bread and this cup, we celebrate the cross on which he died to set us free. Defying death, he rose again and is alive with you to plead for us and all the world. This is our story. This is our soul. Hosanna in the highest. Send your spirit on us now that by these gifts we may feed on Christ with opened eyes and hearts on fire. May we and all who share this food offer ourselves to live for you and be welcomed at your feast in heaven where all creation worships you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. So let us join Christians across the globe as we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. However you are able, draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed in him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ. the blood of Christ. Amen. So we again pray together. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. Well, that brings our service of communion 
to a close and we now need to say farewell to those looking on um, by YouTube, those looking on on Facebook. Um, please do come and join us again on Sunday at 10.30 at 10 or next Wednesday at 10. Uh, if you want to come and be part physically in the church building on Sunday, uh, let me know an um, email or phone call so we can reserve a, a place for you. So farewell for now. It's been lovely to have you with us. Goodbye. Bye.